The shortcut app is a very powerful tool that takes my automation to another level. I have an automation that runs pretty much daily thanks to the shortcut app. And even though this isn't really a specific smart home automation, it's still pretty handy and I'm sure somebody out there will find this useful. With my iPhone, I consume a lot of YouTube content through the YouTube app, and I'm sure a lot of you do too as well. I don't know if this is something you experience, but I like to watch my YouTube videos in landscape mode. Same thing applies to so the photo app. Let's say I wanna watch a video that I recorded myself uh, in landscape mode. I would have to go into the notification and, and turn off orientation lock so that I can just turn my phone pretty much like this and then the video would be in landscape mode like that. So this is where the shortcut app comes in. In the shortcut app, you can create an automation so the moment you open either the YouTube app or the photo app or any other app that you would like to have always with orientation lock off, um, it would just automatically turn off. So here's how you do this. So you go into the shortcut app and you click automation. Once you're there, you click the plus and you go into apps. Right here, you're gonna say, when you open the application, let's just call it, let's just go into the photo. So we're gonna do photos, we're gonna be done, and we're gonna do immediately. So when you open the photo app, you're gonna go into new blank automation, and I'm just gonna type lock to find the orientation lock, and we are going to turn it off, right? So when the photo app opens, we're gonna turn that off. So that way, every time you've opened that app, you can just rotate and watch your landscape mode videos without having to turn it off or do any sort of, sort of stuff. It's just gonna do it automatically. And then we're gonna hit done. And that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna do the same thing, but now it's gonna be closing. So we're gonna go into apps. We're gonna say close immediately. And then we're gonna choose the app again. We're gonna go into photos. Done, next, new blank animation. And again, we're gonna go into lock. And right now we're gonna say it again, turn, and then we're gonna turn it on. So every time you close the photo app, if you want your orientation to be locked again, we're gonna do that. So that means is if right now I were to go into the photo app and I wanna look into this, this photo right here, it should be off. But the moment I close it, it's locked. So that's one of the cool features of having this shortcut. The moment you open that and you wanna look at that photo in landscape mode, you can just do that. I didn't have to go into uh, any notification um, bar. I didn't have to go here and lock it myself to be able to look, I can just do it automatically. Look how cool that is. But this is just scratching the surface of the shortcut automation. There are many more shortcuts that you can trigger by opening an app, like lowering the volume of your phone in case you accidentally open a video somewhere where you don't want to. If you'd like to see more videos and shortcuts automation, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out contents like this. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share with somebody who might find this useful. Also, let me know in the comments down below what kind of automation you would like to see. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.